3 plus 1. This is my house. It's not big and it's not small, but I like it. Three people live here. This is Matt. Hi, I'm Matt. This is David. Hello, my name is David. And that's me. Hi, Hi Helen. Helen. Pleased, Pleased to, meet, to you. meet you. So, there are three people, but there are four bedrooms. So today is interview day. What's your job? I'm a jazz musician. Really? What do you play? The drums. But he's very quiet and friendly. No dogs? Sorry. 150 pounds a month? Great. No, 150 pounds a week. Sorry. Where are you from? Edinburgh, but my job's in Oxford. Good. This is a nice house. Thanks. We're happy here. Okay. Okay. And a... Cigarette? I don't smoke. We don't smoke, do we? Er, no. We don't smoke. Oh. Sorry. This is terrible. Who's next? Her name is Jane. She's number eight. She's the last. So Jane, tell us about yourself. Tell you what? Anything. I'm from Brighton. I'm a drama teacher. I don't smoke. I like films. Good food. Good food? Yeah, Italian, French, Chinese. Do you cook? Yes, I'm a very good cook. Do you have a dog? No. Cat? No. No animals? Do you play the drums? No. The trombone, violin, saxophone? Nothing. That's great. Jane, it's your room. Fantastic! When can you move in? Next week. This week? Tomorrow? Sure. Welcome to 53 Blackwood Road. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So, now there are four of us. Home Movie There are four people in the house now, and I'm very happy. I'm Jane. Well, we all like her. Morning, everybody! What's this? It's a video film about my new house and my new housemates. It's for my sister Allison. Oh, right. Is it okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, Allie. This is the kitchen, and who is this? Say something. Say what? It's hot by seven in the morning? Talk to my sister. Introduce yourself. Go on, David. Hello, I'm David. I come from Manchester. I'm a lawyer that works in Oxford. That's it. What things do you like? I like my job. I like football, swimming. I like a quiet breakfast. And I don't like video cameras. And I start work at 8 o'clock. So, bye. Bye. David's nice, really. Ready? Just a minute. Ready. Hello, my name is Helen. I come from London, but I live in Oxford. What else? What do you do? I'm a marketing assistant for a publishing company. 
I work in Oxford, but I sometimes go to the London office. I usually go to work at 8 o'clock and get home at half past 6. Is it a good job? It's a very good job. I really like it, and what else do I like? I also like good food, films, I go to the gym on the weekends. Oh, and I like to travel. I love France and Spain. I speak a little French and Spanish. What things don't you like? Well, I don't like noise. Oh, and I don't like cigarettes. Great! You're welcome. Where's Matt? I think Matthew was still in bed. Matt! Matt! Mm. It's Jane! Can I come in? Mm. Matt, do you want to be in a film for my sister? Just say something. Where are you from? Matt, where are you from? Birmingham. He's from Birmingham. What about your job? Shop manager. He's a shop manager. He works in a computer game store. He likes computer games. Matt? Mm. Do you like computer games? Mm. And he likes rock music and he loves his bed. Matt, what time do you usually get up? Half past seven. It's eight o'clock. It's Wednesday. I start work at one o'clock on Wednesdays. Matt? Hmm. It's Tuesday. A perfect start to a perfect day for Matthew. Do it yourself. My room's big. It's comfortable, but I don't know the walls, the chair, everything. Move the bed. Where? How about under the window? Put the hi-fi on the chest of drawers. Put the chair in the corner. I don't know. Why don't you paint it? Paint what? Paint the room. I don't know. I'm not very practical. I don't like painting. I'm always too busy, and I don't really have time today. I have a lunch appointment at 1 o'clock. It's impossible. Can we do it for you? Really? Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Of course we're sure. What about the color? Oh, I don't know. Something nice. Now don't worry. You go out, enjoy your lunch, and leave it with us. Thank you. Okay, let's go and buy some paint. Matt, do you want to come? Yeah. Do you want to get dressed? Oh, right. There is a DIY store here. Where? That's on this road. Oh, someone... Hang on, excuse me. Is there a DIY store near here? Yes, go straight on to the left at the roundabout. Go down the road and on the right next to the supermarket. Thank you. How about this? Black, here are some really nice colors here. Oh look, this is lovely. How much is it? 16 pounds, 49. Oh, that's expensive. Hey Matt, this is the same color as your t-shirt. It's gorgeous. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. How much is it? 11 pounds, 99. How many do we want? 
That's 2,398, 24 pounds. That's okay. Now, are there any rollers? Uh, there is some over there. What do you think? It looks great. I love it. Looks interesting. But good. I like it. Finished? Yep. Thanks. I really like this color. Me too. The room looks great. Here she is. Hello. Hi, Helen. We're up here. Can I go in? Yep. Welcome to your new bedroom. Oh, Matt, your t-shirt. What? The color. It's horrible. Oh. Next time, Helen, don't ask for help. Do it yourself. Surprise, surprise. This is how it started. Another exciting evening and 53 Blackwood Road. Hi, Julia. How are you? Yeah. Sure. When's your birthday? The 4th of August. That's Leo. You're a lion. What's wrong? Nothing. What about you? My birthday's the 16th of March. I'm a Pisces. The fish. So what's the horoscope sign for this month? May the first part is Taurus. The bull. So James is bull. Is James' birthday this month? When? The 13th? The 13th of May. It's the 11th of May today. That's in two days. Are you sure? That's what she said. Did you hear? No. It's Jane's birthday on Saturday. Why don't we have a party in two days? Yeah. A surprise party. Good idea. Right. How many people? Just the four of us. Meal, the cake, something to drink, presents. Okay, let's make a shopping list. I got it. That's it! That looks great. Where did you get it? I bought it at Pascal's, you know, next to the bank. How much was it? It was 15 pounds. Did you get the candles? You didn't get candles. I did. Thank you. When does Jane get home? Usually at half past six after her game of tennis. About 20 minutes. Oh no! She's early! David, help me with the cake! Matt, don't let her come into the kitchen. How? Talk to her for two minutes. What do you want me to talk about? Anything! Hi, Jane. Hi, Matt. Let me. Thanks. Did you have a nice day? Yes. What did you do? I went shopping. What did you buy? I bought a t-shirt and some shoes and I bought some food. Matt, are you okay? What else did you do? I played tennis. Where? At the sports center. I had a good day. Did you? I got up at about... Oh, I got up at about 11 o'clock and then I had breakfast. I had cornflakes and I had toast and coffee and orange juice. And then I watched television and then... 
Matt, please move now. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! It's not your birthday? Matthew! But you said it was the 13th of May. The 30th of May, Matt, not the 13th. Then what do we do with all of this food and drinks? We can still have a party. Then what about the 30th? We're gonna have a party then too. Sure. Right, two parties. But only one present, yes. Oh, David. What, really? Cheers! So, that was the surprise party. A real surprise for everyone. A night to remember. Are you free this evening? For a meal? Yeah. You are? That's fantastic. It's David's new friend on the phone. I think he really likes her. It sounds very exciting. See you at 7.30. Bye. David has a date. When? Tonight. What's her name? Julia. Julia? When did you meet her? Two weeks ago. Do you mind? What is it tonight, then? Cinema, theater, opera. A burger. A restaurant. Which one? Hong Kong House. It's Chinese. It's very good. It's very cheap. It's very good. Well, I hope you and... Julia. Julia, have a great time. I'll come with you. Have a nice evening. Bye, then. Bye. This is it. Oh, Chinese. I had a Chinese meal yesterday. Can we go somewhere else? Oh, uh, where would you like to go? I love Italian food. Is there an Italian restaurant near here? I don't know. Yes, there is. Marco's, it's about five minutes away. Marco's, yes, but that's... What's the problem? Nothing. Come on, it's really lovely here. Thanks, David. Don't mention it. You know, I can speak Italian. Uh, just a little. Can you? I can't speak any languages. Say something, David. Good morning, sir, madam. Go on. Uh, buona sera potere. Abbiamo il menu, per favor. Ah. Molto bene, signor. Uh, Vuole vedere la lista di vini? Uh, sorry, can you speak more slowly, please? Would you like to see the wine list, sir? Uh, yes, please. Great. Uh, what would you like to start? Uh, the soup looks nice. I think I'd like the truffles. Okay, the truffles. And can I have the soup, please? Certainly. The truffles and the soup. And for the main course? I'd like the lobster. And I'd like the roast chicken. And to drink? How about a bottle of champagne? Sir? Mm hmm? The champagne? Yes, a bottle of champagne.
It's hard work, but I like my job. It's very interesting. And I like playing sports at weekends. Football, tennis, and I like reading book magazines. Really? This is delicious. Can we have the bill, please? Certainly, sir. Thank you very much, sir. What time is your train? Half past ten. Half past ten? It's half past ten now. Oh dear, can you ring for a taxi? A taxi? Thanks for a wonderful evening. Don't mention it. Good night. Night. How much is it so far? Nineteen pounds fifty, sir. But I only have twenty pounds. Do you take credit cards? No. Visa? No. American Express? No. A check? Sorry, I only take cash, sir. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Good night. Thanks very much. So, that was David's date with Julia. He got home in time for breakfast. Close Encounters We're all cleaning the house today. We don't clean it every Saturday, but today is different. Jane's sister is coming to visit. What does your sister do? She is a student. What is she studying? Film studies. Gosh, that sounds interesting. There, finished. Actually, there's, uh... Oh. What time is she arriving? 2.30. I'm going to my yoga class, and then I'm meeting her at the station. Hello. Can you turn that off? Hang on a minute. What did you say? Never mind. Hello. Hello. Can I speak to Jane, please? Certainly. Who's calling? It's Allison, her sister. Just a moment. Jane, it's your sister. Why is she calling now? It's only 12 o'clock. Hello, Allie. Where are you? Hi, Jane. I'm at the station. But you're two and a half hours early. I know. I got the first train. Allie, I can't meet you. I have a yoga class at half past twelve. Mm, that's okay. I can come to your house by bus. No, it's too difficult. Hold on. Can anybody meet my sister? My yoga class starts in twenty minutes. I can. I can. I can. Please, I hate cleaning. Okay. Hello, Allie. Matt can meet you. There's a cafe near the station. Rose Cafe, why don't you wait there? Okay. Can you meet Allie at the Rose Cafe? Sure. What does she look like? Hold on, Allie. She's quite tall and she has long, dark brown hair. What's she wearing? Hello, Allie. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a cream coat and a black sweater. She's wearing a cream coat and a black sweater. Sorry, hold on. How long? About 15 minutes. About 15 minutes. And listen, any problem, call me on my mobile. Okay, see you later. Bye! Sorry. Sorry. Hello? Jane? It's Allison. Where is he? Isn't he there? What does he look like? 
He has dark hair and a beard. Hang on, is he wearing a black leather jacket, black jeans? It's okay, he's here. See you later. Bye. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I think there's some mistake. Matt, I'm Allison. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hi, I thought... It's okay. Let's go. Sorry about that. Sorry I was late. I got a flat tire. No problem. The car is just around the corner. What's the matter? Why are you carrying that bag? It's your bag, isn't it? No. Then who... We met Allison that afternoon. Oh, at last! How are you? Sorry, that evening after Matt's conversation with the police. A new neighbor. It's a big day today. We have a new neighbor, and we're all very excited. Well, Jane and I certainly are. Are you ready? It's a quarter to seven. What time does the film start? Half past seven. Okay. He's nice. He's very nice. But not good looking? He is good looking. Hmm. It's nearly ten to seven. Who's that? The new neighbor. That's a nice car. I bet it's fast. That thing? No, it's slow. It's very expensive. Cheap. Is it? Oh, yeah, and it's horrible. They say hello. Now? Yes! Hello. Hey. I'm Helen. I'm Simon. And I'm Jane. Hi, Jane. Come in and meet the others. Okay. This is Matt. Hi, I'm Simon. Hello. And I'm David. Hi. Would you like some tea or coffee? Oh, yes. Coffee, please. Matt, can you? What? Oh, yeah, sure. Milk, no sugar. Right. Let me give you a hand. Have a seat. Thanks. So, where are you from, Simon? Newcastle. David's from Manchester. Oh. I'm from London. I'm from Brighton. And Matt comes from Birmingham. And what do you do? I'm a marketing assistant for MacDougall's, the publishing company. I'm a drama teacher. David's a lawyer. And Matt runs a computer game shop. What about you? I'm a journalist. Really? Where do you work? I work in London for a sports magazine. Do you know Workout? Know it? I buy it. Really? Sometimes. Hate being late for films. Biscuit? No. I go to the office most days, but on Wednesdays and Fridays, I work from home. Here's your coffee. No, oh, thank you. The film starts at 7.30. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Don't worry. The cinema is only ten minutes away. Come on, Matt. Let's wait in the car. Bye. 
Bye, nice to meet you. Tell us about your job, Simon. Okay. The film starts in a quarter of an hour. Where are they? What do you do at the weekends? I play tennis, watch football, or go to the cinema. Go to clubs. Do you have a girlfriend? Jane! Nice, okay. No, I don't actually. More coffee, Jane. Hang on, I've got an idea. He doesn't have a girlfriend. He likes tennis. But he also likes football. And going to the cinema. It's David. The film starts in ten minutes. Say goodbye to your big boring boyfriend and hurry up. Uh, just a moment. Hello, it's David. I really like Simon. Unfortunately, Jane likes him too, but I'm not sure if David does. To the rescue. Breakfast is usually a quiet time in our house, but not always. Good morning! Morning! What? Oh, sorry, morning! Where's Matt? In bed. Why? He owes me ten pounds. Oh. He doesn't start working till one today. Oh, yeah. Okay, see you later. You need some breakfast. Have a slice of toast. Good idea. Can I? Thanks. Hey, it's my toast! Bye! Bye! Enjoy my breakfast! Oh no! Hello? Matt, it's Jane. Hello? Matt, it's Jane. Ah. Listen, Matt, I need your help. I can't find my purse. It has my cash card and everything in it. I think it's in the kitchen. Could you look for it? Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm in the kitchen. Can you see it? No, sorry. Is there anything on the table? There are some plates. There's Helen's mug, but no purse. How about on the work services? I can't see it. There's only the newspaper. Can you look under it? Okay, we've got it. Oh, thanks, Matt. I was really worried. Can you put it on the kitchen table? I can pick it up later. Okay, bye. Bye. The keys! Don't believe it. Matt, also the door, please. Tenant and Low, David Price speaking. Oh, David, thank heavens, you're there. Jane, what's wrong? Everything. First, I couldn't find my purse, so I couldn't get any money from the bank. And now I'm outside the house and I can't find my keys. Where's Matt? He was at home before, but he's not here now. I can't get away at the moment, but I'll try to come back in about 20 minutes. Is that okay? That's brilliant. Thanks, David. No problem. See you later. Bye. Are you okay, Jane? Oh, Simon, hi. What's the problem? I don't have my keys. They're in the house. 
but I think I can get in through the window. No, you can't. It's too dangerous. I'll do it. Okay, thanks. Be careful. Hi, Jane. Hi, Matt. Matt, where were you? I was here. Couldn't you hear me? Sorry, I... It's okay, Simon. Matt's here. He was at home all the time. You can come down now. No, I can't. I think I'm stuck. Hello, Simon. You alright? No, I'm not. Oh dear. Can somebody help me, please? David and Matt rescued Simon in the end, but we didn't see Simon for a few days. After that, I think he was a bit embarrassed. An old friend. Our favorite bar is Fruits. We go there a lot, especially on Friday and Saturday evening. Thanks, Matt. Cheers. What time are Helen and David coming? Half past eight. Right? Hey, guess what? I saw Simon last week. Really? That isn't very strange. He lives next door. Oh, haha, ha, very funny. No, I saw him in here. He has a very good taste. Do you know? I think he really likes... Oh, no. What's wrong? At the bar, don't look. Who? Hi, Danny. How are you? Who is she, Matt? She was my girlfriend. Really? Really. How long were you together? A month. Only a month? It was a very long month. Right. When did you last see her? About three years ago. She moved to London, but she sometimes rings me at work. So, she still likes you? Unfortunately, yes. Matt! Oh, Jane, help! Maddie, how marvelous! How long is it? Three years? You still have beautiful eyes. You are happy to see me, aren't you, Maddie? Hello, my name is Jane. Sorry? Jane is my fiancé. Pleased to meet you. Fiancé? I didn't know you were engaged. When did you get engaged? About six, six months ago. Six weeks, months ago. Where did you meet? On the internet. At the club? We met in a chat room on the internet and then we met face to face at a club. Yeah, right, yes. That's right. It was at a club. And we fell in love, didn't we, Matt? Yes, we did. I was very shy at first, but Matt was wonderful. And when did he get engaged? On the 18th of March. Oh, no, it was on the 19th. Don't you remember? Oh, yes, you're right, darling. Where's the ring? Sorry? Didn't you buy an engagement ring for Jane? He did. I did, I did. But I don't wear it because it's a secret. Nobody knows we're engaged. Now, who wants a drink? No, thank you. Same again. Please, darling. Matt, I can't believe it. You're engaged. I thought... Yes, sorry about that, Deb. Don't tell anybody about Jane. It's a secret. Oh, no. What is it? Look at Matt. He's with Deb. Poor Matt. 
He really didn't want to see her again. Yeah, poor Matt. Come on, let's go and help him, David. He needs our help. Hello, Deb. How are you? Hello, Helen. Hi. Hi. Did you tell Deb about our news? What news? Matt, really? Matt and I are engaged. What is it? Hi, everybody. What's the matter? Is something wrong, darling? So, you're engaged to Matt and Jane is... Jane's with me. But I thought... Would anyone like a drink? Jane and I told Matt it's okay to have two fiancés, but he can only marry one of us. Dinner for two. David's preparing a romantic dinner for his girlfriend, Julia. Unfortunately, he isn't the world's most confident cook. What is it? It's Thai chicken with chili. Hmm, I like Thai food. Look, Julia will be here soon. Aren't you going out? It's not very hot. What do you mean? I put lots of chili in it. Hey, let me. I'll get that. That's right, it needs more chili powder. David, it's Julia. Hold on. Julia is already at the station. She's early. Matt, no! Hey, give that to me! David, don't! What's wrong? I put some more chili powder in. So did I. Too hot? Of course, it's too hot. Julia can't eat this, and she'll be here in a quarter of an hour. We can't cook anything in 15 minutes. Uh, 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 Jane. Can she? She's a fantastic cook. Matt, Jane isn't here. Then phone her. Sorry. Sorry. Hello? Jane, it's Helen. We need your help. Well, what's wrong? Julia is coming to dinner and Matt ruined David's delicious Thai chicken. Oh dear. What can you think of something? Is there any pasta in the cupboard? Pasta? Pasta... Yes, here's some pasta. How much is there? Half a kilo? That's plenty. What about tuna? There are two small tins. Matt, are there any mushrooms and onions? Yes, there are. We've got everything. Okay, Matt, boil some water. Can I do anything? It can't be her. It's only ten to eight. Don't worry. We can do this. What's next? David, go! This is nice. Yeah, sit down. Would you like some wine? Yes, please. Why don't you sit down? I can't, the first course. Oh, good. I'm really hungry. Fry the onions, yep. Mmm, that was delicious. What's the main course? I can't wait. It's a surprise. Have some more wine? Thank you. I had a really busy day today. Didn't have time for lunch. It's lovely to be here and have a quiet dinner and simply relax. I'll just get the main course. Mmm, it's great. Here you are. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jane. Jane? Hi! 
Jane, you are wonderful. No problem. Thanks, thanks. How exciting! What is it? It's called Pasta a la Julia. Mmm, it smells very good. Oh, hang on, I forgot the salad. This is much nicer than a restaurant. It's more romantic. And the food's better too? Possibly. Mmm, David, this is absolutely delicious. Can you give me the recipe? Oh, uh, the recipe. I can, but sound... But what? It's a family secret. David, really? Yeah. Matt, Jane, and I did a good job for David. Maybe we could open a restaurant. Change of address. So, why are we having a party? On a boat. You're joking. Not really. Jane's sister, Allison, is staying for the weekend. She's going to an engagement party of Tom and Zoe. What are you going to wear? I bought a new dress. It's really lovely. Can we see it? Sure. Oh, that's beautiful. Do you really think so? You're going to look fantastic. Thanks. Oh gosh, I've got to get a move on. Where are you going? I'm going into town to buy a present for Tom and Zoe. What are you going to get them? I have no idea. Something romantic. See you later. Bye. Bye. What are you doing? Hi. Hi. Is that another new dress? It's not mine. Whose is it? It's Allison's. It's quite nice. Quite nice? It's wonderful. What's it made of? Matt, watch that ball! Oh no. It's not good. I'm afraid the stain's not coming out. What am I gonna do? Allison's gonna be really upset. Buy another dress? What does the label say? New York, Paris, Milan. I think it's very expensive. Why? Never mind. Okay, let's go get another dress. All of us? This is an emergency, Matt. Okay, Jane, you go with Matt, take the shops to the left. I'll go with David. We'll take the shops on the right. Have you got all the details? Hi, everyone. Allison! Oh, hi! What are you doing? We're, um, planning our shopping. Okay. See you back at the house. Yeah, right. Bye. Bye! Have you got your motorbike? Good luck! Any news from Jane and Matt? No. 
This is hopeless. What about this one? It's too small. Uh, this one looks bigger. It's the wrong kind of white. The wrong kind of white? David, look at that. That dress is almost exactly the same as Allison's. Uh, excuse me. Oh no, she's going to buy it. Hang on. Can I help you? Yes, can I try this on, please? Excuse me, I, I don't think it's not wide enough. I'm sorry, I think this one's much better. Oh, really? Yeah, really, it's very nice. Can she try it? Oh, yes. The changing room's up there. I'll take it. Phone the others. Okay. How much is it? 250 pounds. Can I pay by American Express? Of course. Jane, we got one. Yes, we're going home now. See you later. Wow, that's perfect. How much was it? 250 pounds. 250 pounds? It's Allison. Hi. Hi. What's wrong? I had an accident with your dress, so I bought another one for you tonight. Oh, thank you. It's almost the same as yours. Oh, this dress is much more beautiful. It's gorgeous. The other one only cost 10 pounds. 10 pounds? Yeah, I got it from a second-hand charity shop. Next time, Helen, forget Paris, Milan, and New York. Head straight for the charity shop. A long weekend. On Sunday mornings, we usually just sit around and read the papers. It's so relaxing after a busy weekend. This is good. A weekend in Barcelona, including flights and hotel. 120 pounds. That's cheap. I went to Barcelona about three years ago. Did you have a good time? It was brilliant. The food was wonderful and the nightlife. How long did you stay? For a week. We stayed in a four-star hotel. We? Who did you go with? A friend. Have you ever been to Barcelona? No, I haven't. Here's another one. Paris, 190 pounds. Paris, fantastic. I went when I was a student. I went when I was in high school. It was so romantic. So you've been to Paris too, then? Of course, I have. Where else have you been? Rome, Prague. I love Prague. New York. New York's great. What about you? Where have you been, Matt? Well, nowhere. No, I've been to Scotland. That's astonishing. Do you mean to say you've never been abroad? Only Scotland. You poor thing. Why don't you go to Barcelona? It's really cheap. And you haven't had a holiday this year. No, I went home to Birmingham. Birmingham is not exactly exotic. Why don't you go? No reason. 
How about next weekend? What could do, I suppose? Come on, let's book your ticket. All right, how? On the internet, of course. There, flight JM514 to Barcelona. Friday, the 23rd of May at 9 o'clock in the evening. Check in at 7.30. What do I do between half past 7 and 9 o'clock? You get your boarding pass and you wait in the departure lounge. Hang on, haven't you ever flown before? No, I've never been on an airplane. Actually, I'm a bit... Nervous? Terrified. Oh, Matt, don't be silly. Flying's really exciting. Oh, what about this one? That was a holiday in L.A. I had a girlfriend there. How long? We were together for about six months. No, I mean, how long did the flight take? About ten hours. Ten hours? What did you do for ten hours? Watched films, ate, slept. Anyways, your flights are only two hours. Have you packed? No, I haven't. It might be a good idea. All right. Have you packed everything? Yes, I have. Passport? Yes. Suntan cream? Yes. Your toothbrush? I packed everything. Have you found a taxi yet? I did it 15 minutes ago. That's it. Go on. Where are you off to? Barcelona. Oh, have fun. Have a great time, Matt. Bye. Adios. Nye hasta la vista. Safe journey. Uh, hello? No, I haven't. That's impossible. I've just taken it out of my pocket. I've got it here. Oh no, I've taken yours. Matt had a wonderful time in Barcelona. And the flight. He loved it. In fact, he's thinking about taking flying lessons. A clean sweep. When you live in a house with three other people, there's excitement, there's conversation, and there's housework. Morning. 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 Did you sleep well? Okay. Where's the milk? There isn't any milk. Uh, it's on the table. What's it doing on the table? We're using it. Sorry, would you like me to put it away? No, leave it. There's no bread left. Why did somebody finish it? Oh, hi. There's some in the bread bin. There isn't very much, and that's mine. What? You know H for Helen, not M for Matt? And there aren't any clean ones. I don't believe it. 
How many cups are in this sink? Does anyone do the washing up in this house? I do. Me too. You never do the washing up. You always leave it to someone else. At least I do some cooking. Well, I clear up the kitchen. How often? I did it last month. Right, that does it. Okay, everybody. As from today, we're going to keep this place clean and tidy. What's the sheet of paper for? I can guess. It's a rotor for all the jobs around the house. So, this week, Jane, you're cleaning the kitchen and cooking on the weekend. David is doing the washing up, and on Friday, he's doing the shopping. Matt, cleaning the bathroom and cooking Monday to Wednesday. And I'm cleaning the living room and cooking on Thursday and Friday. Has everybody got that? Yes. Yep. Good. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Why have you got that shopping? Let's see, because it's my day for shopping? But I did the shopping today. You're cooking tonight. No, it's Friday. You're cooking tonight. But that was last Friday. You did the shopping and I cooked, remember? Uh, let's go in and look at the rotor. It's my day for the living room. No, it isn't. You're in the bathroom today. I cleaned the bathroom yesterday. Yeah, you didn't. You were watching television when I came home. I did it after you went to bed. Uh-uh, let go of it. No, you let go of it. What's going on? I came in to do the living room and he was cleaning the carpet. It's my turn. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Boys! Why are you both carrying shopping? Jane got the wrong day. I didn't get the wrong day. You did. And you did. No, I didn't. I looked on the rota. Tuesday was the bathroom. Hang on a minute. That's not right. I'm doing the bathroom tomorrow. Look, I'm being the bathroom. You're doing the kitchen floor. No, 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 no. That's me. I'm positive. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And who's going to clear that up? Matt! Okay. So the Rota wasn't a great success. The house is looking good at the moment. A perfect day. That's Saturday. I was coming home from the gym, and I stopped to admire the view. Hi. Oh, hi. The weather's better today. It's certainly better than yesterday. Yes, it is. What are you doing tomorrow? Oh, nothing special. Just another boring Sunday. Would you like to go somewhere? What do you mean? Uh, yes, with me. Oh, yes, I'd love to. Where? How about on the river? We can go punting. That would be good. Great, I'll call for you at about half past nine. No, I'll call for you. Okay, I'll see you then. See you. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Bye. Bye. Hi. 
You're up early. I couldn't sleep. You're getting out. Uh, yes, I'm going to meet a friend in town. We're going to have lunch. What are you going to do today? Nothing much. Well, I'll see you later. Sure. Bye. You ready? Ready. Is Helen still in bed? No, she went into town about an hour ago. Are you just gonna lie there all day? Yes. We could do something. Go somewhere. We could go for a picnic. What do you think, Matt? I suppose we could. We're going to have a picnic. That's not a bad idea. I'll make some sandwiches. I'll give you a hand. I can take my video camera. Oh, have we got anything to drink, Matt? I'll go and get something. Come on. We can go through this gate, then along the path. Between the wood and the farm. That's the quickest way. It's quicker on the road by car. Don't be so pathetic. Come on. It'll only take ten minutes. This is perfect. It's so much nicer than the city. It's beautiful. Yes, it really is. It's this way. That's Jane. Come on, David. It's all three of them. Quick. What's the problem? They don't know about this. What? They think I went out for lunch. Let's go back, please, Simon. Okay. How long did she say it was? Ten minutes. It's the longest ten minutes in the history. It's just through here. Simon, we're going the wrong way. Oh no. This was a great idea. Thanks. It's a shame Helen isn't here. Look at that. What? This is really strange. It just appeared from nowhere. Really? That's funny. What? Look at that bag. It looks just like Helen's. In one of his plays, Shakespeare said something about not telling the truth. I wish I could remember what it was. A picture of health. Mornings aren't my favorite time of day, but some learners have definitely worse than others. Where's Helen? Dunno. Perhaps we should go and call her? Mm, don't bother. Are you all right? Not really. I keep sneezing. I can't stop coughing. My whole body aches. You've got a cold. Thank you, doctor. Or flu. Have you got a temperature? Well, you don't feel hot. My temperature keeps going up and down. I feel awful. Have something to drink. It hurts when I swallow. You should drink something. I'll make you a cup of tea. Are you taking anything for it yet? Aspirin, paracetamol. There aren't any. What about homeopathic medicine? Homeopathic. It's better than aspirin. I'll get you something on the way home. I have to go to work now. Me too. You're not going anywhere like that. You must go back to bed. I'll telephone the office for you. Just keep warm drink a lot. 
I'll see you this evening. You go up now, and I'll bring you the tea on my way out. Okay. Here you are. Oh, thank you. Take it easy. I'll bring you some fruit later. Thanks. Hi, Helen. It's only me. Hello. Hello. How are you feeling? A little better. My sore throat's gone. Have you been in bed since this morning? I felt too weak to get up. Have you eaten anything? No, I haven't. Have you had anything to drink? I had a cup of tea at about one o'clock. So you haven't had anything to drink for five hours? Hello? We're up here! You have to drink a lot when you have flu. And you really should try to eat something. Sorry. Hi, how are you feeling? A bit better. I got you some aspirin. Oh, thanks. Actually, I've got you this. It's much better. What is it? Homeopathic medicine, especially for colds. What do you mean by it's much better? It contains only natural ingredients. I bet it tastes disgusting. At least it's not full of chemicals. Aspirins are very effective. It's been around for years. So is arsenic. Please, you two. Here you are, vitamin C, the perfect cold cure. I've brought you some soup. Oh, thanks, Matt, but I'm not really hungry. But you haven't eaten since last night. Sorry. I don't think you should go to work tomorrow. I don't know. Perhaps you're right. You can stay here and watch tennis. Yeah, Wimbledon. Who's that? It's Simon. Oh no, I look awful. Don't let him come up yet, Matt. All right. Here's the patient. How are you feeling? Not too bad, you know, up and down. I didn't know you weren't well. I've got some tickets to see a salsa band tonight. But never mind. I could still go. No, you can't. Don't be silly. Jane's right. You shouldn't go out when you've got the flu. You have to stay in bed. But what about the ticket? It doesn't matter about them. It's a pity to waste them. Why don't you go with someone else? What? Well, Jane could have your ticket, and she could go with Simon. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, go on, Jane. Look, I'm feeling much better. Helen, stay there. You must keep warm. Okay, I'll go and get ready. We can go another time. So, I didn't get to see the salsa band with Simon. Game set and match to Jane. Not working out. We all like our food in this house, but I think David likes it a bit more than the rest of us. If nobody else wants it, I'll have it. David, honestly, where do you put it? You're such a pig. If you're not careful, you'll put on weight. He's already flabby. No, I'm not. Apparently, Simon used to be quite fat. I'm not flabby. 
He keeps very fit now. He goes to the gym four times a week. Gyms are so boring. I play tennis. At least it's competitive. You used to play tennis. I don't have the time now. Anyway, Julia thinks I look good. Yes, but will Julia still think that when you look like a balloon? A hundred and fifty pounds a month and five hundred pounds to join. Actually, it's not really what I'm looking for. Thank you. Bye. Unbelievable. Oh, hello. I'm interested in joining your health club. Could you tell me how much it is, please? You are what? I'm going to have a workout this evening. Where? At the new fitness club. Isn't that expensive? It is, but they offer a five-day free trial period. Free? Yeah. Oh, David, you're terrible. What's terrible about that? Anyway, I'm starting this evening, so I'll meet you as soon as I get out. What time will that be? I don't know yet. I might do a long session, but I'll give you a call when I finish. And then we're going for a drink? Absolutely. Okay, over here we have the weight machines, free weights. Now use these to fill up your muscles and to increase strength. Over here we have the grow machines, the exercise bikes, and the treadmills. Now these are good for the CV exercise. CV exercise. Cardiovascular aerobics. Use them to increase stamina to keep you more energetic. Right. Now, I want you to do 10 minutes on each machine. Do you think you can manage to do that? Yes, I think so. Okay, then let's start. You all right? Yes, I'm fine. Just a bit tired. Can be tiring the first time. This isn't the first time. I used to do a lot of exercise. I bet that was a long time ago. Right, the weight. Keep the change. Thank you. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, David. Hey. What is it? The taxi. Why did you let it go? But don't you want to walk into town? It's much better to exercise. Come on. So that was the end of David's five-day, or should I say the one-day membership of the health club. He never went there again. A dog's tail. Last Saturday, we watched a horror film. Some of us found it really frightening. She is going to down the stairs. Oh no, don't do it! Why is she doing that? Because it's a horrible film. People always do stupid things in horror films. I can't watch this. What happened? It killed her. Really? No, the mother shot it. What a load of rubbish. It's not a load of rubbish. It's good fun. It was very well made. That's just what I was going to say. Thank you. Who wants coffee? Oh, yes, please. Simon? I'll get it. I wouldn't go in the kitchen if I were you. No, no. Simon, don't. The ghosts. Oh, yeah. The ghosts. 
actually. What? Oh, nothing. What, David? Well, there might be a ghost in this house. Where? In the kitchen. What kind of ghost? The ghost of a dog. Don't be silly. Yeah, it's true. I don't know anything about this. Well, before this house was built... When was this house built? About 120 years ago. Go on. Before this house was built, there used to be an old cottage here. An old man lived in it, and he had a large black dog. And every way he went, the dog went with him. It never left him. How do you know all of this? One of the neighbors told us. Anyway, the man was killed in an accident. A new family moved into the cottage, and the dog was taken away by the old man's sister. But that very first evening... Yes? The dog went back to the house and started howling. What happened then? The owners chased it away, but it kept coming back every night. They chased it away every night. It came back and howled. And then? Well, not long after that, the cottage was destroyed by a fire. And this house was built ten years later. So where's the ghost? Well, when they were building this house, they found the skeleton of a large dog in the cellar. And the neighbor says that sometimes late at night, a dog is heard howling. Yeah, there's always a logical explanation for that kind of thing. What would you do if you saw a ghost? They don't exist. If I saw a ghost, I'd run away. If I saw a ghost, the ghost would run away. Okay, Simon, go make the coffee. But don't say I didn't warn you. Did you two really hear that story? Yeah. The others fancy some toast. Do you want anything? No, thanks. That was a great story. Who said it was a story? You know, the funny thing is... What? Well, although I don't really believe in that sort of thing... Yes? I have sometimes heard a dog howling late at night. And I always thought it was coming from this house. Hi, Biscuits! Matt! Yes? Are you alright? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Matt! What? If I were you, I wouldn't turn the light off in your bedroom tonight. Very funny. The next morning, Matt looked very tired for some reason. A brief encounter. It was a typical Saturday night, but Matt was acting rather strangely. Oh, thanks. Are you alright, Matt? Yes. Are you expecting someone? No. Well... Oh, come on, Matt. Tell us. What's been going on? I was working today, and I just got off for lunch. I was walking into Radcliffe Square when I saw a girl. She was doing a survey. You know, interviewing people on the street, except she wasn't having much luck. Nobody wanted to stop. How long have you been standing here? Since 10 o'clock. And how many people have you interviewed? Four. My boss said he wanted me to interview at least 20. You could interview me. Okay, but... My name's Matt. Actually, I don't need your name. But my name is Mel. So, Matt, do you live in Oxford? Yes, I do. How long have you been living here? 
since 2017. How many jobs have you had since? Two. And what do you do now? I manage a computer game shop. How long have you been working there? Nearly a year. What newspapers do you read? She asked me about what newspapers I read. The Observer. The food I like, anything. What kind of clothes to buy? The clothes I buy. We got on really well. Where do you go for entertainment? Ah, oh, the cinema, clubs. Restaurants? Not really, although I quite often eat at Fru's. I've been there a few times. Really? I've never seen you there. I'm going there tonight, actually. Oh. Okay, holidays. Which kind of holiday do you usually prefer? I really like going abroad. I've been to Italy a few times. I want to ask her lots of questions. But she was asking me so many, I didn't really get a chance. After the interview, I went to buy her a coffee, but when I got back, she was gone. Oh, Matt. Is she going to be here tonight? She said she was coming. How romantic. We haven't arranged anything. Oh, I'm sure she'll come. Of course she'll come. Is that her? Go over. Go on, Matt. Go for it. Hi. Oh, hello. So you came then? Yes. Would you like a drink? Hi, sorry, I'm late. Hi. Hi. Oh, this is Peter. Peter, this is... Matt. Nice to meet you. There's a table over there. Are you sitting with this man? No, no, go ahead. Bye then. Yeah, see you around. Oh, poor Jack. I'll be back in a minute. Who's that, a boyfriend? What do you think? Sorry. Are you alright? Not really. I feel a bit of an idiot. Come on. What? Let's go get some fresh air. Where are they going? I don't know. Seems a shame to waste their drinks. Oh, David. Why does it always happen to me? It happens to everyone. What, even you? Yes, Matt, even me. Do you like her? I thought she was really nice. Don't worry, I'd be someone else. Where? Anywhere! Here. Hmm? Oh, you mean... you? Gosh, how long have you... Quite a long time. Me too. What are we going to tell the others? We can worry about that later. Yeah. Who said there was no such thing as a happy ending?